Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel. And today I'd like to talk about why do I love this watch? And the watch in question today is my IWC Ingenua. This is the IWC Ingenua. And my reference number on this model is 3227-01. This is the famous IWC released in the mid noughties and it featured IWC's very, 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 very famous in-house movement. Now, I've got to tell you guys, this watch here features the 80110 movement. And this here was IWC's chance at glory. IWC wanted to tackle AP for its Gerald Gentra Royal Oak with a classy high-end wristwatch. IWC themselves there, they tuned the Ingenua to new perfection. What did they do exactly? Well, not only did they go back to the original Gerald Gentra design for IWC, but they looked at the original specs of the Ingenua. This was a special watch for engineers, engineers, engineers. And this piece here has huge, huge anti-magnetic, anti-gauss properties. Rolex has the, Rolex has the mill gauss, IWC has the engineer. Now the quality can be seen here. This is a high quality piece with very, very high attention to detail. IWC Ingenua. Why do I love the IWC Ingenua? And the story goes back to the early noughties. I was working for a watch dealer in Bangkok, Thailand, and he gave me for a short period of time to wear an IWC golf club. It was a Gerald Gentra design based on the Ingenua, and I absolutely loved it. It was a black dial Ingenua. And uh, before that time there, I always thought IWC was a bit of an overpriced brand. Um, fanatical, very fanatical punters who had IWCs. They were kind of like Panaristi, except more extreme. And uh, a lot of Germans loved IWC because IWC comes from the German-speaking part of Switzerland. And it was just a brand that I, I really, I just thought was expensive. I didn't really appreciate it. In the early noughties, when I was experiencing my first IWC on the wrist, IWC was busy designing the 3227. This was a range of luxury ingenuers, which featured the 80110 in-house movement. It featured, <clears throat> it featured many wonderful design cues based on the Gerald Gentra design. This piece came out, it was released with the fanfare, AP quality at a slightly more expensive than Rolex price. A bargain in anyone's book. The IWC Ingenua, and it hit hit the shores, and unfortunately, due to the high costs of production, never really succeeded. It never succeeded where it should have <clears throat> flourished and performed very, very well. The watch itself there uses many styling cues from IWC. The special system of adding links, the push pin system, is here. Beautifully designed piece indeed. The IWC Ingenua 3227. This piece here, <clears throat> why do I love it? I love it because it's <coughs> it's so different to any of the watches in my collection. <coughs> it's very special. It's a big chunky watch. But it's so elegantly done. And uh, I owned a couple of Royal Oaks in the past, but I was never really happy 
with the quality or performance of them. But with this IWC, I've been very happy. And uh, I gotta say, this is probably one of the favorite watches in my small, humble collection. The reason I love this watch is, is because it's an IWC with key ingredients that I love. 1970s Gerald Gentra design. It's polished and matte combination finish. Adds a layer of class. It's beautifully prepared dial. Look at the pattern on this dial. Very beautifully done. The applied markers and numerals at 6 and 12 really give this piece class that no other IWC has. Why do I love this piece? I love this piece because it sits in beautifully, beautifully in my collection. It's a piece that is just defies all my other brands. IWC is certainly a great brand. <clears throat> I really enjoy owning this piece. This piece here, <coughs> in my opinion, is one of the best models in the IWC lineup. The other reason I love this watch is because IWC has done many nasty things to the Ingenua in recent years. They've cheapened the dial, they've added crown guards, ooh, they've reduced the size, they've done so many horrid things. They've even removed the anti-gaussing protection in order to gain compactness and reduce the price. The 3227 is really the connoisseur's choice. If you know your IWCs, this is the one to have and lust for. I think these pieces here are just absolute delights. IWC <clears throat> is at a bargain price point now. I think never to be seen again. Buy quick. Hold and enjoy the beautiful IWC and in a few years you'll get more than your money back. I think these are a classic watch to covet and enjoy. I love having an IWC in my collection. I love the black dial <coughs> which from different lighting angles looks blue because of the anti-reflective coating on the glass. The IWC fits a perfect niche in my collection. <coughs> Quality 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 steel sports stunner this is the reason i love my iwc tell me what you guys think of that hi guys archie luxury archie luxury channel guys i want to talk to you today it's very very important men cannot live on google ads alone i depend on your support to keep me on YouTube full time. Guys, there's a number of ways you can help me stay on YouTube producing content. Number one, you can organize a paid review. That's right. I will make a video for US $20 minimum and I will review your collection. I'll answer a question for you. Um, so, you know, normally takes, uh, normally, you know, about 14 days, 10 to 14 days for me to make these vids. The other thing you could do to sponsor me and help me stay full time on YouTube is sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a small amount of money, like a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, anything, any amount you want over a dollar, you can, and it basically sends a dollar each month to me. Now you can cancel at any time if you're sick of the show or you don't like me anymore. Uh, so guys, 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 help keep me full time on YouTube. Paid reviews. I do sponsor me on Patreon, and Patreon people get advanced screening of some videos and secret videos. Not to mention, I got advertising space on the fridge. Come on, guys, keep me full time on YouTube. Okay.